What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Christian bringing you guys another amazing content that you will enjoy and learn from. For today's video, we are going through the new event that just came in and I will be guiding you guys and giving you the breakdown and the things you should do for you to get the rewards in the event. Without further ado, let's get on with this video, especially with the guide. So the event we have right now is actually a free event where we get Saitama appearance which is the spring adventure event. So the appearance can be acquired if we get 400 points. This is amazing guys because this is just a free appearance that we players of the One Punch Man The Strongest game is actually aiming for. First of all, let's just take a look at the rewards and then I'll be presenting to you guys what you need to do and where you need to spend your gems on. First of all, the rewards are 80 points for a Ascension Supply Voucher and for 100 points Keepsake Voucher which is a very important item. Then for 200 points Costume Voucher which you can be hoarding for you to exchange a costume in the near future which can be helpful in terms of going near towards a costume then for 300 points we get two limited voucher which is not bad and for 400 points we get the appearance permanent grants the permanent elegant formal wear appearance if you already have the permanent version you'll obtain 300 gems which is good and amazing because i want to see the appearance of saitama in an elegant formal wear appearance and we can see this in the character tab or the left side character then we go for change appearance then we go to the bottom the bottom and then here we are we can see the saitama formal appearance which obtained from online events so Saitama is an amazing appearance in this game now let us move on and of course I'll be guiding you guys through the completing the quest how much points you can get all throughout the event especially this event is 28 days long which means this is four weeks long and I think we can get the permanent appearance long before this event is finished actually. And I'll be explaining why. And this quest can be done easily without you spending money and without you spending a lot of gems on unnecessary things. The guide that I'll be giving you guys or the presentation that I'll be giving you are mainly based on what we do every single day there are just a little bit more on a spending on a specific gameplay which is most which is a good thing because as soon as new limited ssr comes out that item will be very will be very very be important so let's just go to our presentation guys so our presentation for today is the Spring Adventure Guide presented by yours truly, Rishan Channel. And without further ado, let's get here it is the point calculation that I have made earlier. And first of all, guys, the point this point is actually based on the overall points that we can get all throughout the event countdown. So this is 28 days and in total points we get 768 points within 28 days and we have gone more than 400 points in getting the appearance of Saitama because of the daily login this is times 28 we get 28 points all throughout the the what do you call it the event then for weekly we have seven points then for 5 points, we get 80 daily activity. This is daily. Then we times it for 28 days and we get 140 points. 
for weekly we have 35 points and the next one is 20 points 100 times cc or the conqueror's chat conquer uh conqueror's conquest challenge we get for uh for four weeks we get 80 points and weekly we get 20 points just to note guys the conqueror's challenge is basically a you can use this in the conqueror's challenge nightmare i have tried it so conqueror's challenge nightmare is included you want to battle the conqueror's challenge nightmare rather than the normal one because they are they just give more resources gives you buff gears better and basically it's just better than the normal one the normal one can just give you with gears but the other one gives you gears and gear buffs to move on 30 points weekly activity times 4 this is 120 and weekly we get 30 points and 50 points weekly this is 5k gem consumption times 4 is equal to 200 points and weekly we get 50 points 200 points 30k gem event consumption that is 200 points and i'll be explaining what you need to spend on for you to finish this weekly points is 142 points per week this is 142 times 4 equals 568. This is just by weekly and we already have finished the for the event for 400 points. We don't actually need to get everything to be finished. But most of you guys might be wondering or you might want to finish this. And basically for me guys, you don't actually need to finish this 50 points for 5k gems consumption because i think if you do your dailies weekly i don't think you will be using 5k gems but this will be finished if we have the black tickets event or the new limited ssr event or the rerun that's the time that i think we can get 5k gem consumption to be finished and of course overall 568 points time 142 times 4 is equal to 568 points plus 200 that is 768 total points that you can get if you finish every single event per day per week and all throughout the event next one is of course the spring adventure 30k gem quest consumption calculation so here uh, here are the breakdown of the gems that you will be using during the event first of all 50 gems for additional attack in tournament basically it is a must then for 150 gems this is four times on stamina and for 100 gems Two times vitality for this is a must guys and 300 gems equals five additional attacks in arena it is equal to one omni chest i say that this is a must because one omni chest per day can be useful especially if you are aiming for a five star red mosquito girl when she is released this is very important because you'll need a lot, I mean a lot of villain shards or villain, what do you call it? The pieces that you will limit break your, your characters, you need those for you to upgrade them to 5 star and, you'll, and you will need the omni chests which are very important items and if I will not be going for the optional type this is what you can get all throughout the event so 600 gems per day that is times 28 because 50 plus 150 200 plus 100 300 plus 300 600 gems per day for 28 days that is 16,800 a gems then for two weeks we get 
two times the release of block tickets that is 36 BT to be purchased for the new limited SSR and another set for the rerun which makes it 7 for 36 BT we get 7920 you times it for 2 then we get 15,800 uh, 840k gems in total 16k 16,800 plus 15,840 that is equals to 32,440k which is more than 2k of the event point that we we want so we only need 30k gem quest consumption because that is the only requirement for you to finish up the uh, the event or the <clears throat> sorry for the 200 points quest but for me if you are if you want to save even the 2k gems especially for me a free to play player the most important thing or the most important one for me is this optional of course we need to buy the additional attack in tournament because it gives us a chance to get more shards whether we, it is a, a hero or a villain type kind of shard then here the if rather than four stamina purchase in the mall we will only buy two times which will cost us only 50 gems that is 100 gems lesser and of course vitality is a must this is because of the conquerors challenge that we need to challenge every day for us to finish the weekly or the weekly activity or the weekly quest in the event then for 300 gems this is important even for free to free players i would suggest this because you want to get more omni chests in your bag for you to be prepared during the rmg release especially that you need a lot i mean i think you need 200 200 shards if i'm not mistaken then for the calculation that is 500 gems per day times 28 that is 14k that is 14k guys so 14k plus 15,840k <clears throat> that is 29,840 you we are just short for 160 gems you can just use 160 gems on anything but if you're going to use it i would suggest you you use the 160 gems for stamina or other things that are necessary do not use them on things that are not necessary actually so this one this calculation saves you 2k plus gems this is very important because 2k gems will give you 10 black tickets additional 10 black tickets purchase you don't need to save more but for me as a free to play player this is the best way for you to finish this quest while saving your gems only buying two times in terms of vitality while additional attacks two times vitality and five more additional attacks in arena are the most important thing that you want to do because one omni shard additional attack in tournament can give you chances on getting more shards and vitality will give you more challenges in the conqueror's challenge so that is all for the presentation thank you so much for listening and learning this is presented to you by christian channel to get back on my main account so the quest is just very very easy if you spend or if you know what you are doing so this guide is very important guys so i hope you are watching i hope you watch this and learn from it because you don't want to spend your gems and your stamina on other things on other things especially your gems you just need to buy additional attack in tournament you just need to buy the additional challenges uh, i mean additional attacks on the 
I, I will just show you guys. So, additional attack on the tournament, right? Additional attack on the tournament gives you... Wait. Is this? Okay. So, additional attack will give you this one. Random Omni Shard Chest. Random, randomly grants one hero Omni Shard to villain Omni Shard 2, hero Omni Shard 1, or villain Omni Shard 1. This is a higher chance to get more of those shards for you to upgrade your RMG in the near future. And here, we have additional 30 attacks on the Association Arena, which will give you the Omni Chest, which you will be granted used to select from hero omni shards 2 and villain omni shards and if you have a lot of these you can just pick villain omni shards for you to get rmg very very fast to five star already which i am actually aiming for on this account this is very important guys and in terms of stamina you just need to buy purchase packs and you go for dailies you just need to buy two times two times is 50 gems and four times will be 100 so that is 150 but for me i'm just going for the additional two which is 25 gems per purchase for 60 stamina that is 120 stamina equals to 50 gems and i will be going i'm just buying okay, i'm just buying 100 gems for the Daily Vitality Supply which gives me additional 120 Vitality which I can use additional 10 attacks for the Conqueror's Challenge or the Nightmare Conqueror's Challenge which gives me the chance to attack or get the purple type of the buff gears and of course get the chance of having more chances to get oranges in the Conqueror's Challenge. This is actually a hitting two targets with one stone because you hit the Conqueror's Challenge, the event, you hit your dailies and you don't really use additional gems for you to finish this. So guys, please be reminded to watch this video. If you like the video, the guide this is very helpful for me if you will be liking, subscribing, and commenting if you are interested to join our YouTube community. And guys, just a special announcement. I am having a account giveaway which is actually ongoing. I'll be showing the account few weeks from now before our account giveaway. And... Uh, Basically, the, what you need to do is just invite your friend, comment down below on the latest video. If this is the latest video, then comment here your name. Then tell your friend to comment your name below your name. And the more invites, the more subscribers that you invite on my channel will give you more entries on our wheel for you to give or for you to have more chances to actually win the account so the account guys is basically an account that is actually pretty strong so i wouldn't miss this chance for you to hold an account that is not that below an account that is actually that actually can be amazing if you play on it every single day so that is all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for your support. If you are watching this, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And the link of our YouTube community Discord is in the description below, which I am always waiting for you guys. So thank you so much. I'll see you on my next video.